Hi everyone, this is Bonnie from Good Earth Spa. Yesterday I showed you how to make these cute little origami keepsake boxes. And I got to thinking, well, how can I make them so that they fit the shape and size of my bars of soap? So I came up with this design I'm going to teach you how to do today. Here's one that I just made one half and put a ribbon on it to make it look pretty. So that's one idea. You can change it around. I made that one with an 8 by 11 piece of paper. And then this one I made with wrapping paper. I made a top and bottom that fits my soap exactly. These are some of my donation soaps that I'm going to be sending to the troops here pretty soon for my last shipment. So I use those to um, create this new design. So this is my own original design project that I'm going to show you now. So you can use any size bar of soap. This is just regular wrapping paper. It's a sturdy um, thick wrapping paper and you'll just want to cut yourself uh, a strip that's you know long enough so that the the uh, width of the soap plus the sides and then they can be folded over once you see what I'm doing you'll kinda get an idea of how much paper you'll actually need to use you can even do an 8 by 11 sheet of paper because we're gonna trim off excess anyway There we go, I'm just, if you're working with uh, wrapping paper, it's more curly and kind of hard to deal with. So you might just want to start off with a regular sheet of printer paper. So put your soap in the middle and where I'm pointing, you're going to want to make some crease lines. Now take your soap off and go ahead and fold down all of those lines. I like to use the handle of my scissors because it folds it down really fast. And uh, it's it works as a, what do you call it, a creasing tool. So when all of your sides are folded down, you'll notice that the uh, rectangle left is the exact size of your soap. So that's perfect. Next thing you need to do is you need to fold over and crease the two longer ends. So fold them down and crease. And then going along with the original fold, you want to fold it over and crease one more time. So this line here is going to all be excess, so I'm going to trim that off right now. Now that you see how this is going, you can actually measure it and cut the exact amount of paper that you need, being the width of the soap and the, you know, the width of the soap um, in those two dimensions and then on the sides it would have to be twice. Or you can just do it this way and trim off your excess if you don't want to deal with measuring. So I'm just doing the same thing on the other side here. Again, I'm going to trim off this excess right along this dotted line here. Okay, now you'll notice that there are other creases right along there. They go from the original triangle out, and you're going to want to trim each one of the four sides. Just that far. That's it. I'll go ahead and refold over those flaps and I'm going to trim these side flaps about, about half. You can always adjust the size of them later but they're going to be the side of the box. So you see how they're folded over? They make, um, they make a nice little flap there. You make sure that you crease down each end like I'm doing now. 
And then as you fold them together, insert one into the other. And then take your center flap, fold it over, crease it really good, and then crease it down on the bottom on the inside. Now you have one side made. So just slide it into the other side again. And then take your center flap, folding it over and creasing it as you go, and creasing in the inside there. And now you have a box that is the perfect size for your soap. There you go. Isn't that neat? Now anyone can make their own boxes at home. And you don't have to be an origami expert to do it either. So here are the origami boxes that I made yesterday that this design was loosely based off. If you want to see this other video, check in my other videos for origami keepsake box. So there's all my stuff, and I hope that you really enjoyed